So first, the good news. Um, the internet has flourished. Um, I think all of us in the room today are beneficiaries of an open and free internet. We take many things for granted. We take out our smartphones and tablets and, and we, we take it for granted that by typing in a domain name, our device will bring us to a specific um, internet destination. The fact that Fadi is not able to join us today and that there are people in Congress who are waiting to hold him back and hold him accountable and ICANN accountable for what the stewardship of the IANA functions are, I think is, is a sign that things are not the way we should see it in terms of taking it for granted. The internet, the open and free internet as we know it, is vulnerable, is fragile. It's based on a system that Ram has so eloquently described in the form of a multi-stakeholder model. So the good news that it's, it, it has flourished and because of that, we're seeing things like internet governance on the news as much as we do, or we see things like um, Ayana transition in the news as much as we do. It's because there is an impact, and because there's an impact, um, we, we, we pay attention it a lot more. Now comes the bad news. The path forward will not be easy. There are many naysayers um, to the model as we know it. At a personal level and at organization level, I believe that the multi-stakeholder model is the only way where it works because it takes that many people to come together to bring practical solutions to the table. So in talking about the open and free internet, it is, it, it is important to remember that such a framework that we enjoy today has a direct correlation with the economy. For small and medium enterprises in particular, the, 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 the study does many research areas. One of the findings is that 50% of small and medium enterprises who are heavy web users tend to be able to sell to markets beyond its shore. And 63% are able to procure its supplies from further afield because of the internet. So I urge you, as Ram has said, to look further into this. When you delve deeper and you see the benefits of an open and free internet, I think naturally you will become a champions of the model that we enjoy today. The fact that we are having this conversation together shows the way that the technical community has been working together, the Internet Society, the Internet Engineering Task Force, ICANN, the regional internet registries, all these might just sound like names to you, but there's really a big choreographed dance that needs to happen for a device to work and so that you know the IP addresses are allocated and that you can get to the destination that you want to within the right protocol parameters.